Is pox the next global health threat we should all be worried about? The Lou has just issued its highest alert, and here's why you need to pay attention. Welcome back to AU News, where we break down the latest in health and global updates. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on crucial stories like this one. For the second time since 2022, pox is now a global health emergency. The World Health Organization, WHO, raised the alarm as the virus spreads rapidly across Africa, reporting over 14,000 cases and 524 deaths this year alone. But why is this outbreak more concerning now? Pox, previously known as monkeypox, is a viral infection that affects both humans and animals. It belongs to the orthopox virus genus, the same family that includes smallpox. The infection usually causes flu-like symptoms and a rash with raised bumps that turn into pustules before eventually scabbing over. The virus was first identified in captive monkeys in 1958, hence the original name, but the first human case wasn't reported until 1970 in the Democratic Republic of Congo. To reduce stigma, the WHO rebranded it as pox in 2022. How is it transmitted? Pox spreads through close contact with an infected person, animal, or contaminated objects. Direct contact with skin lesions, body fluids, or respiratory droplets is the main mode of transmission, but even touching items like bedding can spread the virus in rare cases. Symptoms start with fever, headache, muscle aches, and swollen lymph nodes, followed by the signature rash. The incubation period ranges from 3 to 21 days, and the infection can last up to 4 weeks. In severe cases, pox can be deadly. So, why has the WHO declared it an emergency again? The rapid spread of a new variant within Africa has health officials deeply concerned. The variant, which is more challenging to detect due to milder symptoms, has already been reported in multiple countries like Kenya and Rwanda. The situation is especially critical in the Democratic Republic of Congo, where 96% of cases have been reported. Scientists recently discovered that this variant causes lesions in the genital area, making it harder to identify and increasing the risk of transmission. According to WHO officials, this outbreak is being driven by clade I of pox, which is more lethal compared to the clade 2 that caused the 2022 outbreak. Although this new clade hasn't spread beyond Africa yet, the risk of global transmission is very real. Unfortunately, there's no specific vaccine or treatment from pox yet. The smallpox vaccine, JYNNEOS, is being used in severe cases, but access to it is limited in the hardest hit areas like Congo. While mild cases can resolve on their own, the lack of treatment options and delayed diagnoses are fueling this crisis. The WHO's emergency declaration aims to mobilize global resources and spur action before the situation spirals out of control. Experts warn that while COVID-19 taught us many lessons about global health emergencies, African countries still lack the tools to tackle this outbreak effectively. That's a wrap for today's video. Are you concerned about pox spreading globally? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share this video if you found it helpful. You're watching AU News. Stay informed. Stay safe.